Well, uh, there's been a blast uh, at, uh, and at least a dozen people have been uh, injured in Ontario, in Canada, where uh, this blast took place in an Indian restaurant. The uh, explosion ripped through an Indian restaurant outside Toronto on Thursday night, injuring at least a dozen people. The blast happened at the Bombay Bale restaurant in Ontario, a city just south of uh, Toronto. In fact, uh, the city has a population of 700,000 people and has a large immigrant population and is the sixth largest municipality in Canada. So we yet don't know whether this is a terror attack. Uh, we are still waiting for confirmation from the local authorities. Uh, almost a dozen people have been injured in this blast. Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan now joins us on the phone line for more on this uh, story. Geeta, uh, are there any Indians as far as uh, the people, those who have been injured in this blast? And uh, what is the word from the authorities? Is it a terror attack? Well, right now they're not calling it a terrorist attack, uh, Ankit, but it is a huge explosion. We're looking at an Indian restaurant, Bombay Hill. So there are certainly people of Indian origin who are, who are, who are hurt and who have suffered casualty, uh, who, 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 who uh, uh, have been killed in this entire attack, uh, Ankit. But the fact is that uh, we do not know whether they're Indian citizens or, uh, or, or uh, Indians of, uh, of, or just of Indian origin. There are about a dozen who have been uh, killed in this entire attack. Uh, many of them have been rushed to the trauma center. The paramedic uh, service over there, uh, 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 an official from the paramedic service has uh, confirmed that quite a few of them have been injured severely and have been rushed to the trauma center. This is in one of the malls. Uh, that uh, Bombay Hill is uh, situated, that's the restaurant where the explosion took place. Uh, so right now, uh, the entire area has been cordoned off. They're trying to ensure that everybody is out of the restaurant. It happened around 10.30 p.m. Canada time. So look at the timing. It is absolutely the time where people uh, would, uh, would be sitting, having their dinner at uh, the restaurant. So that's the reason why the casualty is really high. And uh, a dozen is a lot uh, of people that we're talking about, uh, but certainly no uh, official word right now from the authorities. We're waiting for an official word on uh, the casualty figures. There's also whether if Indians were involved, uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs is yet to ascertain details from headquarters in Canada. You know, uh, uh, Geeta, uh, the West and particularly uh, the United States, Canada and the European countries are... Uh, a target of uh, these kind of uh, lone wolf terror attacks where not only people are driving their vehicles into the crowd killing people and then uh, you know pledging allegiance to ISIS uh, is there was there a word was there uh, you know some sort of an alert in Canada that uh, they are under there might be some attack from the militant groups because uh, uh, recently, there was a van in Toronto which, uh, uh, which in fact went into people killing 10 uh, and uh, injuring 14 others. Well, uh, you're absolutely right that there have been such lone wolf attacks, but primarily you see, Ankit, there's been in America and uh, that's the United States of America and uh, European countries. Canada really has not seen such, uh, such a lone wolf attacks one and not uh, of such a great magnitude where there is an ex explosion at, uh, at, at, a, at a given time to have maximum casualty where uh, scores are already dead and around 15, 16 of them have been rushed to a trauma center. So we, one will have to wait uh, for, uh, for, for reports as to who really is behind this entire attack. Is it uh, the Islamic State? Is it uh, Daesh? Uh, a terror network that okay. has been working on its own uh, and there are lone wolves everywhere or is it a coordinated effort against a particular community? Right, thank you so much uh, for uh, joining us with all those uh, details, Geeta. We'll come back to you for more on this story. Uh, so far, 12, uh, in fact, dozen, uh, 12 people have been reported injured in this blast at a diner, an Indian diner in Ontario where uh, people were having dinner at around 10.30 p.m. local time this blast took place. Now Prime Minister Modi has landed uh, at the Kolkata airport and will be heading to the Shanti Niketan for the crucial meeting with Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. It would be a rare moment when Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee will share stage at the Vishwa Bharati University at Shanti Niketan in West Bengal. All three will be attending the convocation of the university and inauguration of Bangladesh Bhavan. 
at the campus. These are live visuals which are coming in from uh, Kolkata Airport where the Prime Minister is being uh, received. The ceremony welcome for the Prime Minister. Uh, there we can also see Babul Supriyo Union Minister who hails from West Bengal also there and other senior cabinet colleagues of Mamata Banerjee along with senior officials. Uh, in fact, uh, this time the meeting is more crucial given the importance it holds in the India-Bangladesh relationship and the differences of opinion between Mamta Banerjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the recent past. The leaders are most likely to discuss Tista Water Treaty and Rohingya issue. Hasina, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, is on two-day official visit at the invitation of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Manoge Loewal, my colleague, is now joining me live for more on this story. Manoge, as we get these live visuals of the Prime Minister at the Kolkata airport, uh, this will be a crucial meeting. First, Mamta Banerjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi don't see eye to eye. They would be sharing the stage. And then, of course, the big uh, Tista uh, you know, and Rohingya issue that will be discussed with the Prime Minister of Bangladesh as well. Well, absolutely. A historical moment, not only for the photographers, but also for the pages of history this time, given to understand that it's not just about both the Prime Ministers of India and Bangladesh being there on the same platform, same forum, in the presence of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Now, interestingly, this is also for the first time in 40 years that the Chief Minister of West Bengal will be on the dais in an event of uh, Vishwabharati University. They will be first addressing the convocation and then they will be coming to Bangladesh Bhavan where there will not only be the interactions with the students, as well as the speeches. Besides that, there is, of course, lunch around the corner and that would be the most important informal meeting that they would be having behind the curtains on what would be the policy of the two countries to go ahead. It's not just about the Tista Treaty that has been irking both the countries, given the fact that West Bengal hasn't agreed to share water in the first place, but it will also be about the Rohingya issue, which has been of concern for India, as well as Bangladesh in past one year. Of course, an important meeting, the convocation, bringing the Chancellor which is the Prime Minister, perhaps the only university in the country where Chancellor is the Prime Minister besides the President. And this time with both the Prime Ministers coming together, it would be interesting to watch on what happens ahead. What would it be the body languages of the two leaders, especially Mamta Banerjee and Narendra Modi, would be something to watch out for. Manoge, thank you so much for joining us with all those uh, details. Manoge, I will be keeping a very close eye on the developments there in Kolkata for India today and get us more live updates. Now moving on to Karnataka. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.